or plates? Yes. It's my Xanadu. Peace. Have a seat. I'll make it some tea. You like tea, right? Yes, very much. So, what time do you think the bus station will be open in the morning? Around 5.30, 6. Thanks for writing me from that bench. I feel like an idiot missing the last bus. Hey, no problem. Couldn't let you drown out there. Where are you headed again? Vancouver. I heard it's nice this time of the year. I'll take your word for it. I've never been out that far north. I'm thinking here in Seattle. I love the rain. There's something about it makes me feel different. I want to check the weather report to see when the storm will blow over. Sure, go ahead. And that's the latest on the hurricane. Now back to you, John. All right, Bob. We got some breaking news here. A news report that the monsoon killer has struck again. As another body hitting the killer's M.O. has pulled from a stab drain in the Rainier Valley. This makes the seventh victim in the last six months, all occurring during heavy rain periods in our city. This killer sure seems to want to make a name for himself, Bob. Hate these idiots. What do you mean? I mean, we all have to be remembered for something. To be remembered for killing just to get your 15 minutes of fame? That's plain wrong. Really? Killing to get your name in the paper. You have to let your victims be free. What about the trail? You know, my father used to be an adventurer. He used to tell me about the thrill of almost being killed by a tiger or almost falling to his death while climbing a mountain. The, the thrill. I'm telling you. The killer on the radio did it for the trail. What other event to bring that much anticipated energy, huh? As far as the girl is concerned, it was her time. Her time? Yes. It would be one's duty to set her free. So how did he do it? Let's just say, the victim's walking down the street. He turns down an alleyway. Yes. She's walking down this alley and she breaks her left heel, let's say. He's stalking her from behind in the darkness. And she can hear the killer's bated breath. Then he catches her. Before she can scream, he slits her throat, severing her vocal cords. Oh, yes. <laughs> it looks like the rain has stopped. Yeah. Well. I guess you um, better be Get going, you don't want to miss your bus. Yeah. Thanks for the tea. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for your company. Okay, see you around. Hey. Uh, do you think people can change? Sometimes. I can if you can. No. Are you hungry? Starving. How about breakfast? Pancakes? <laughs> Pancakes it is.
Hey. Just to behave yourself. You too.